Hi, welcome to the video Deploy Simple Spring Boot Up to Heroku using Git and Heroku CRI. I am Nam Ha Ming from Code Java.net. Through this video, you will learn how to deploy a very simple Java web application that is based on a Spring Framework without the database. Uh, the purpose of this uh, video is to help you get familiar with Heroku's deployment process using Heroku command line interface and Git. To follow this video, you must have a Heroku account and have the Heroku command line interface or Heroku CRI and Git software programs installed on your computer. Firstly, let me show you a very simple Spring Boot project. Okay, as you can see here, I have a Java project uh, for a, a Spring Boot application and it is a Maven project. So this is a POM XML file, as you can see. I'm using uh, Spring Boot version 2.5.4 with uh, dependencies uh, a Spring Boot Starter Time Lift and uh, Spring Boot Starter Web for a very simple Java web application based on uh, Spring Boot and Time Lift. And this is a main controller class with only a handler method for the home base of the application. And this is the index HTML file. Very simple. Now let me start this uh, Spring Boot application to see how it looks like. Okay, you see the application has started on the port number 8080, context part empty. And let me access this uh, application, open web browser. And you see, the home base uh, displays the heading my Spring Boot application with a, a Spring logo. Very simple, right? Here are the main steps for deploying a simple Spring Boot app to Heroku. Firstly, we need to commit the project to a Git local repo. And then, create a new app on Heroku. And this app is associated with uh, Heroku remote repo and we need to change the remote reference of the local repo uh, to the remote repo and to deploy we just uh, push the code from the local repo to the remote repo and then Heroku will build the uh, application, deploy the application as an uh, executable Java file. Make sense? Now open a new command prompt on Windows or Terminal on Mac or Linux and be sure that the current directory is uh, the project directory. So I type cd here to ensure that the current directory is the project directory. So I need to change the current directory to the project directory here. Okay, you see. And type Heroku login and press any key to open up the browser to login and click login ok I have logged in successfully to my Heroku account and type Heroku status to see the status of the Heroku cloud platform you see no known is used at this time for apps, data and tools and type Heroku apps to see the apps I created on my Heroku account. You see, I have uh, three apps uh, created here. And I'll type git init to initialize a local repo for the project. You see, it initialized uh, empty git uh, repo uh, for the project. Uh, you see the uh, project files here. And you can see the Mm, sorry, and you can see the uh, dot git uh, directory created here. This is a git local repo of the project. Okay, and then uh, you can type git uh, remote uh, dust v to see the remote reference of this project. You see no references at this time. Now uh, let's create a new app on Heroku. Type Heroku create and then the app name. I uh, name my app as my Spring app. And 
as uh, the name my spring app is already taken so i change uh, my app here my spring app one okay so it uh, has created uh, my spring app one and you can notice the public url of my app here and the uh, read uh, remote repo on heroku of the app here and now we can type git uh, remote dash v uh, to see the remote references of the local repo you see it has updated uh, the remote reference of the project to uh, heroku and the remote url here if you don't see the remote reference uh, updated you can type git uh, remote sorry you can type heroku git colon remote and that's a and then your app name uh, my uh, spring app one to update the remote reference of the local repo you see it is already updated and then type git add dot to um, add all the files of the project uh, to the local index okay you see some warnings no issues and then type git commit uh, to commit the uh, project files uh, to the local repo with the message is uh, my first commit okay done and then to deploy the application just type uh, read post and then the remote name is heroku and the default branch name is master Uh, we see java app detected and it is installing jdk 1.8 and maven uh, build is running on the remote uh, server it may take a while okay you see build success and you can see it uh, discovers the process type is uh, web here the process type is web here and the size of the application is 68 megabytes and the released version is v3 and the public url of the application here deployed to heroku you see the process type is web here is detected automatically okay that's very simple right and type heroku apps to verify and you see uh, I got uh, my Spring App 1 created here and uh, to uh, specify the number of uh, dynos uh, running for this app or to scale the app you can type here ps colon scale and the process type is web and uh, specify the number of dynos is 1 here you see the scaling dynos you may not uh, you uh, may not need to perform this uh, step I just uh, show you for the reference and you can see uh, scaling dynos done now running web at one colon three that means uh, one dyno is running for the application and now to open the web uh, application in Heroku you can type uh, open the application in browser you can type heroku open and it will open up the browser to access uh, the newly deployed application just a moment for the uh, application to start it okay you see the home base of the uh, application appears here my spring boot application and with the uh, spring logo perfect right that means we have successfully deployed and uh, run uh, our first uh, spring boot app on heroku cloud platform and now go to the heroku account and uh, personal apps and you can see uh, the newly deployed app here my spring app one here click to view the details 
and you can see the overview information of the app here you can see this app is using uh, free dynos and the command that executes the application here and the released version of the app is v3 here uh, each time you make a change uh, to the app a new release uh, will be created and you can also view various information of the app here uh, resources and deploy metrics activity access settings and so on now switch to the command prompt and you can type hello cool logs uh, to that is and tell to see the most recent most recent log entries of the application and you see it uh, brings the login information of the application here you see it is the uh, spring boot application started here you see and press ctrl c to quit the log terminal Great! So far you have learned how to deploy a simple a Spring Boot app to Heroku. Now let me sum up the commands uh, you have learned so far. Uh, firstly, to log in to the Heroku account in the command line interface, uh, type Heroku login. And to list all the apps you created uh, for the Heroku account, type Heroku apps. And to create a new app, uh, type Heroku create and then app name and to add the changes uh, add the project files to the uh, git index of the local repo type git add dot and to commit the changes to the git local repo type git commit dash m and followed by the commit message and to change the git remote reference type heroku git colon remote dash a and followed by the app name and to deploy the app via git type git push Heroku and then followed by the branch name and to scale running dynos uh, type Heroku ps colon scale uh, web equal the number of dynos you want to uh, to run and open the app in a browser type Heroku open and to view the reason log entries type Heroku logs uh, to that is and tell I hope you have found this video helpful. Please subscribe to my channel, like, comment, and share this video. Thanks for watching.